Today, I'm putting out a challenge to Colorado. So here we are, back at the table. Sierra Blanca has a green chili infused lager. It's one of my favorite specialty beers. And being from New Mexico, the fact that that bad boy right there is full of Hatch Green Chili is just top notch to me. So we're gonna take a look at this and I've got a surprise because right over here, I've got a Colorado Green Chili infused beer, but I'm putting out a challenge to Colorado. So stay tuned. So this beer is a green chili infused lager by Sierra Blanca. Every year around August, they purchase thousands of pounds of green chili and they roast it right on site, right at their brewery. And then they dry it and they put it in tea bags and freeze it. So all year long, you can get that wonderful taste of hatch green chili in one of the best lager beers ever made. And that's right, I'm saying one of the best lager beers made. So this is a 4.3 ABV and a 15 IBU, according to Untapped. It is a beautiful looking bottle. It always comes in bottles when it comes out of Sierra Blanca. And I'm excited to give it a taste. Got my bottle opener and ah, there we go. Sorry, first time with the new bottle opener. Gotta learn how to use this one. So, you can smell the lager as soon as you open this. Give it a pour. Nice straw colored lager small head you can hear that plenty of carbonation very low head and i can smell that lager all the way over so there you go as you can see very little head very straw colored very high carbonation the aroma isn't in your face like some of the beers like I like, but this one is light, refreshing, and you can smell green chili. I've had this a lot. I like it. So, give her a taste. Light, clean, floral-based lager green chili not the heat until it hits the back of your tongue well balanced good lager green chili beer in my opinion the best in the nation did you hear that colorado with hatch green chili yeah amazing amazing beer and right over here and it's not a fair uh, fair is I have a bull and bush brewing patch harvest ale that's right that's from Colorado I was gonna pit these two together but I can't because the people in Pueblo Colorado who swears they have the best green chili in the world are afraid to send me a lager that has been green chili infused. So I had to find somebody that went to Colorado to pick me up a beer. Yeah, it's not a fair match. Of course, this lager will beat any lager that Colorado has, but we're gonna give this one a try too. Oh, and by the way, this has a write up on it that says this Colorado Harvest 
Ale is a perfect medley of intense, juicy, uh, succulent peaches and a subtle, smoky, roasted hatch green chili. Really, guys? If your green chili was that good, why don't you put it in the beer? Just a question. So let me get a glass. Ugh. Ugh. There it is. My sweet water glass, and I'm going to give this Harvest Ale a... Ooh, now that's nice and smoky. I will give them that. Lots of peach coming right off the top. Lots of head. Whoa, look at that. Wow. I'm surprised. I've never touched this beer. This is the first time. So will we wait for this to relax so that I can actually get a taste of it? You can see the difference in color. It's very orange compared to this very golden beer. This and this. There we go. So, like I said, this is not a comparison. I just thought that it would be fun to pick on Colorado, being the fact that they think they have such great beer and a great chili, and yet they come to New Mexico to get green chili for their beer. Hmm. Oh, so while we wait for this one to relax a little bit, take another drink of this. Good stuff. Again, five videos. This is video number two. I need to see comments. These are the soaps from Teori giving away. So this is video number two for the Crafty Coaster soap. It is a homemade, high lather, beautiful smelling beer soap. Yes, this is made with beer. And it's made by Teori. You can find them on Instagram. And they have graciously donated soap to be given away here. So five of these will be given away on the fifth video. So I don't think this will calm down. Not any more than it did. So I'm going to actually give it a drink from the bottle. So I smell peach. I smell a little green chili, but I'm going to give this bad boy a drink from the bottle. Wow. It has a little peach, a little peach, but this is smoky. It is crazy. The green chili hits you in the face. That is definitely a crazy beer. Yeah. I don't even know where to go with this. It's kind of like a dessert with green chili on it. Wow. Ooh. Can't say it's my favorite, Colorado. But I give you an A for effort. And uh, I still have to say, the Sierra Blanca, right here in Mariardi, New Mexico, has got everybody beat when it comes to a green chili beer. And if you don't agree with me, I am challenging someone in Colorado to send me a Pueblo beer that has green chili, Pueblo green chili in it. So in this unfair matchup, I'm going to go with Sierra Blanca, the green chili Sarveso, as the hands down winner. 
So again, this is a 4.3. This I have zero information. I couldn't find anything on untapped. It's not a horrible beer. I am going to finish this one tonight, but bar none, this is my favorite. Hope you've enjoyed this. I hope somebody from Colorado takes up this challenge and sends me a beer that's even close to the green chili perfection built by Sierra Blanca. Till next time, cheers.